tend to call it an agile mobile robot to try to distinguish its capabilities from traditional types of wheeled and tracked mobile robots. The advantages of legs are significant, whether that's an interior commercial construction environment that's full of materials on the ground and you know things like stairs and gaps. The kind of initial application we should really be doubling down on is the autonomous laser scanning piece. You're one of the very first customers bringing that to bear. And then it's special because it's in the context of a private 5G spectrum, which is really good for running remote robots. Um, so we're excited about the potentials there. Initially, the operation of the robot is using a keypad and the operator following closely behind. However, now we've achieved true remote operation using the private 5G network, which means the operator can be anywhere in the world. We're using that in conjunction with the scanner to automate the scanning process traditionally undertaken by engineers on site. The idea is that we can free up their time to do more valuable work. The construction robot provided by Boston Dynamics in conjunction with Trimble could be operated completely autonomously. We could log in remotely via the internet and using the 5G network, have site visits and undertake survey tasks without actually having to be on site. So the robot can operate in all weathers it can also operate in hazardous environments where we'd have to put in measures to protect people that were doing those tasks. I'm really excited and passionate about this particular site because finally someone in construction is going to test this. This isn't like an incremental improvement. Like this is a huge step up in what you're able to do. And it's not just spot and robotics. It, it, you know, it cuts across all the ways that you communicate and transfer survey information, the ways you manage BIM.